So um, what we have here in this case is, ladies and gentlemen, we have four polygons, OK? And what I'm trying to describe to you in these polygons is we're going to go and take a look at the side lengths, all right? Here, we have three sides. And we call a three-sided polygon. Carly, do you know a three-sided polygon? What we call a three-sided polygon? What is this shape? That's a triangle. All right. Now, a four-sided um, polygon is there's a couple names for specific ones, right? We could talk about a square, a rectangle, a rhombus, um, a trapezoid, a kite. Those are a lot of specific types of these type of four-sided um, polygons. Does anybody know what we call a four-sided polygon, though? Not one of the specifics, yes? A quadrilateral, very good. All right, then after we go to the quadrilateral, um, the next thing, she's taking hers. Um, Sierra, do you know what the next one is after quadrilateral? This nice little shape, it's famous in our government because it has like that shape. Pentagon, right? Very good. So now we have a pentagon going through here. And then on the last one, this one actually has six sides. All right, so there's a vertex on each one of these. So when you have a six-sided, that is what we call a hexagon. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table for you guys. All right, so let's go and write this down, please. And so this is going to be the name of our polygon. And then let's go and take a look at the sides. All right, so if we go and take a look at the sides of each one of these, if you guys go and look at the name, the sides, we talk about a triangle has three sides. A quadrilateral has four sides. A pentagon has five sides. And a hexagon has six sides. All right, And we'll go on in more and more examples. And then let's do the last one, which we'll call a n-gon, which means the number of sides is going to be n. Okay. N gon would be, what if, I said it, what if I said it has n sides, 10 sides, 11 sides, 18? We don't know the number of sides, so we'll call it n. Okay. So now, the next thing I want you guys to go over is, let's go and see if we can remember um, exactly how many degrees are in a triangle. Um, Taro, do you, do you know how many degrees of all the sum of all the angles in a triangle adds up to? 180 degrees. Right? The sum of all the angles in a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. Now, if you look at a triangle, obviously, if we can draw a triangle, then therefore we're going to have, um, let me actually shorten this box a little bit. So obviously, there's one triangle within a triangle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, what we're going to do is called creating diagonals. And when creating diagonals with a polygon, what you guys are going to do is you're going to choose one vertex. All right, In each one of these figures, you're going to choose one vertex. And it doesn't matter where the vertex is, but you're going to choose one vertex where your two sides come together and meet. That is a vertex. You have multiple vertexes. What you're going to do is you're going to choose one. Then what you're going to do is you're going to connect that vertex to each and every other vertex on the graph. Now. If you look at a triangle, the only other vertexes are, are there and there, and they're already connected by the sides, right? If I look at this quadrilateral here, I have this vertex is connected, 
that vertex is connected, but this one is not connected, right? Right? From here to here is not connected. So I can connect them. Then I look at this pentagon and say, well, how many vertexes can I connect here? And I can connect two more, right? Because these two vertexes are already connected by sides. Then I have over here, connect these. All right, so does everybody kind of see a little bit of what I've done? All I did is I chose one vertex, and I connected each one of them. Now, why, what is that important? Why is that so important? Well, um, when we're looking at this, Caleb, we said that the number of triangles equals 180, right? How many triangles, then, can I rewrite out of my quadrilateral? Two. Malik, how many triangles can I get out of my pentagon? Three. Dominic, hexagon, four. four. All right, now, here comes the big question. Megan, do you see a relationship between the number of sides and the number of triangles that ha we can you create out of it? Let her think. Do you see a relationship between the number of sides and the number of triangles? Kevin, do you see a relationship? What is that? Uh, the triangles in it are 2 minus the sides. Yes, very good. So what you're looking at, Amber, is when you're doing something like this, what you notice is the number of sides minus 2 gives you the number of triangles. So if I say you have an n-gon, how many sides are you going to want? How many triangles is there going to be? n minus 2. So we have one more column to go over. Now we need to talk about the sum. Now we already discussed the sum of our triangles is 180 degrees, right? Um, but now let's look at a quadrilateral. Well, if a quadrilateral has two triangles, right? That means that's 180 and that's 180. So what do you think is going to be the total of a quadrilateral? 360. Then we have a pentagon. On our pentagon, we have three triangles. So now I need to do 180 times 3. Okay? And 180 times 3 is going to give us what? 540. All right? And then for a hexagon, we're going to have 720. And then, ooh, that's not good. For the final thing, I want you guys to give you a rule. All right? For n minus 2, all you're going to do is do, so if I say, tell me what is the measure of all the angles in a polygon, and I don't tell you how many sides, then you're just going to say it's the number of sides minus 2 times 180 degrees. Okay? Yes. Okay. Everybody understand? Okay. So let's do some practice.